Winston T. Mouse by Marty Reap. Dedicated to grown-ups who remember how to be children and to everyone who keeps dreams alive. It was a beautiful day outside, but Winston T. Mouse was sitting in his typewriter writing stories for his mouse friends. Sometimes he would write all day. While he typed, he wore his black and white sweater. Sometimes he wore a gray ball cap if he was in a mood that made him really want to think about things. The stories he wrote came from all the funny things he did when he was a little mouse growing up on the farm. He would sometimes laugh as he remembered and wrote down the things that came to mind. Winston typed and typed and typed, stopping occasionally to get a cup of hot chocolate. Way to go, Winston! Great story! his friends would say whenever he wrote a new book. He would smile a big smile and say a cheerful thanks. He was happy that they liked his stories. Some days, though, Winston wished that he smiled all the time. He thought that a happy mouse was supposed to smile all the time. He wanted to find out and write a story about it. Winston went home and made up a story about a happy mouse who smiled all the time. In his story, everything went perfectly for the mouse. Winston realized, though, that in real life, Everything did not always go perfectly. Winston thought for a minute. Hmm. Nothing. He thought for another minute. Double hmm. Nothing. He put on his thinking cap. Triple hmm. Still nothing. Then he thought to himself, Winston, go downtown and watch other mice walking along on the sidewalk to see whether or not they smile all the time. Winston filled his thermos with hot chocolate and put on his coat. He went downtown to find a park bench next to the sidewalk. From there, he watched the other mice walk by. In two hours, 42 mice walked by. 24 smiled, and 18 did not smile. Three of the smiling mice tripped on the sidewalk, four dropped their packages, two accidentally splashed themselves in a puddle, and one lost something. Each time, those mice said, No big deal, and kept right on walking. Winston about dropped his hot chocolate. He realized it was attitude that mattered. He saw that his own attitude about life could help him smile or not smile at the things that happened to him. When he had a happy attitude, he smiled. When he had a sad attitude, he frowned. Watching other mice for a story helped him understand a very important thing about his attitude. As he packed up his thermos, Winston waited for one more mouse to walk by who wasn't smiling. Winston smiled. The other mouse smiled back. Now that made 25 other smiling mice. And if Winston counted himself too, then it made 26. When Winston got home, he took off his coat and put on his sweater and his thinking cap. He sat down at his typewriter and rewrote part of his story. Winston typed all afternoon. When he finished, his story was the best ever. This time, it wouldn't matter to him whether or not his friends told him, Way to go, Winston, because this time he said it to himself, and he smiled. When Winston shared his new story with his friends, they loved it. And next time, I bet Winston will even share his new story with you. The end for now.